Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cash unstuffing and a cash condensing for the month of April. I cannot believe we're already at the end of the month and we're gearing up for May. This year is flying by. Um, so a couple of envelopes that need to be unstuffed and we're going to start there. Um, once everything is unstuffed, then I'm going to use that cash to, um, condense my envelopes as well. I did go to the bank and pull out some hundreds um, just to have them. I know there's a couple of envelopes that are going to need hundred dollar bills so I just wanted to get ahead of that so that it can be as condensed as possible um, and it's always so satisfying to see. So I took out five hundred dollars um, for that reason but we're going to start with the unstuffing first so that I have a little bit of extra cash to work with while I'm condensing. Um, and we will go from there. So we're going to start um, with uh, unstuffing in the sinking funds binder. Um, there really shouldn't be anything to unstuff in my rollover binder this month because I didn't stuff a lot in my rollover binder this month. So we're just kind of forgiving whatever expenses came out of those categories. Um, but I do have a few that I want to unstuff in here. So we're going to get started right there. Um, so first things first, I am finally paying off this little marker that I had in baby. If you guys don't watch the cash stuffings, I um, leave these little reminders here so that I know if I use a credit card or something that I need to pay myself back for. Um, this is a reminder every week of how much that was and just a constant reminder that I used a credit card and I need to pay it off. So this was a um, expense for a birthing class that we're taking in May. So I'm excited that um, there's enough in the envelope now I can pay that off. So I'm going to take out $130 and that's going to go towards the Ulta credit card. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, and 30. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30. So that is going to be 130 out of baby, which leaves a remaining balance of 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So 50 left over in baby, which is still a good place to be. I obviously want to see this envelope grow as fast as possible because baby is here in three months. Oops, as I write down the number three. Um, I cannot believe I am almost at the end of my second trimester, guys. This is flying by. He's going to be here before we know it, but so excited, but definitely want to really make that a priority and, and flush that envelope out so that I can be ready for any of these crazy expenses. I know this kid's going to cost me. <laughs> um, moving on from here, wedding is not going to get unstuffed. Emergency is fine. Debt snowball is obviously the next big one. This is the one that I've been waiting for. I think this envelope is going to explode <laughs> if I don't take this money out. So we're going to take out the total balance for this month, um, which is going to be $296. So we're going to make sure that's all here. So we have 100 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. Sorry, my brain stopped working there. So $200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is 296 right there. And that is all going to go towards my Apple credit card, which was another card I used for a last minute expense. Again, if you guys don't watch the cash stuffings, I did explain it over there. But um, I had a work expense that came up that required me to use a credit card and was not prepared. And the Apple one, unfortunately, was paid off, but it was the only card I had on me or had access to at the time. Oh, what was that number? Four, oh shoot, I got ahead of myself. 468 maybe? 
Oh, fiddlesticks, hold on. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for um, cameras. I recorded what it was before I removed it. Oopsies. Anyway, so that uh, balance was starting off at 457, and we just took out 296. So it leaves me a remaining balance of 161 to pay off next month. So that is how my little reminder system works. It works for me. And um, yeah, I did mention this in the last cash stuffing. Work has kind of mentioned that they might compensate me for the certification I got, which would be lovely of them, but also not expected. Um, so I'm operating under the fact that they won't just because that's how my brain works and I will be very appreciative if they do, but I'm going to work to pay it off just on my own. Um, but that's how that works. So that's debt snowball for the month. So great. Love that progress. That's almost $300 this month, guys. That's great. Um, car maintenance is not getting unstuffed. Travel, I'm going to leave that remaining money in here because I want to pay Michael off all in one swing and we're getting pretty close. The envelope right now is $300, so I'm only $78 short. So that should only take me a couple weeks, three at max, um, to get that to that total. So next month we will unstuff that and give that to him. Home isn't getting unstuffed. Health is fine. Pets is the only other one that is going to get unstuffed. Um, this was a new envelope to my system, and I added this specifically because I had a lot of expenses coming out of my buffer for pets. Um, my cat, Cedric's litter, his food, um, those kind of things are all on auto ship. So I wanted to start a sinking fund to build this up so that then I could start kind of paying myself back for that and not um, just relying on my buffer for. So um, I'm just gonna pull out what is in there because obviously litter and food cost more than $20 a month, but this is as much as I saved this month. So, um, and we started this halfway through. So $20 is gonna come out just to cover those expenses, but then next month, hopefully it'll cover everything and we'll start to accrue and save um, too. But that's gonna be everything that's getting unstuffed this week. So total unstuffing is going to be $20 plus the $130 from Ulta plus $296 from Apple. So $446 is going back to the bank this week. A big chunk of that is, is going straight towards credit card debt. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's how the system works, at least as far as my system works. So from here, we're going to go into um, the best part, which is the cash condensing. I love this. So satisfying. Um, may jump around here and there just based on what denominations I have. Um, I'm going to jump right into baby to start. So in baby, I believe I can do, we can leave 30 and then take a 20. And then if I get a 50 later on, I'm actually gonna come back to this one because that's all that this envelope has. But for now we have 20, 40, 50. In wedding, I think we can do some work here. So $500 is already in the bank. And then we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So 655. Um, so definitely can leave the five and a 10. So this is going to be 140, I believe. So then can leave 40 as well. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So this is going to be our first 100 that's going to go in. And that's all 10s. We'll take a hundred there. Oh, so much better. Again, this is another one of those binders. I may come back to if I scrounge up another 50 somewhere, but I don't know if I have a lot of those floating around. So wedding is all condensed there. Emergency is next. Emergency has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 35. So 
135, so this should be 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. And we could put 100 in there. So satisfying. Um, Dead Snowball's empty, so we're good there. Car maintenance. So I believe oil and inspection are as condensed as they can go. So we're really just looking at repairs right now, which I already had two hundreds in there, but I think we can put a third. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. So that's another 100, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So we're gonna leave the two 20s. So this should be 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. 300. That's beautiful to see. So we'll take another 100 there. So 340. That's going to be so much easier to count. I'm so excited about that. And this envelope really needed to be condensed too. So that's nice. So 415 in total in that envelope. Travel. We can do some damage here. I think we can put another 100. So 20, yeah, oh yeah, this should just be 100, I think. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Yeah, beautiful. So that can all go down. Oops, I did that wrong. There we go. And we're gonna grab another 100. I kind of want that to be matching. Is that weird? <laughs> 300 in travel. It's more satisfying that way, I don't know. I kind of want to keep that old 100 somewhere. Um, home is next, so home is gonna get um, probably another 100. So it's at 115, I believe. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20. Did I count that wrong? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15. Yes, I did count that wrong. Um, so let's keep the nice 10 and a nice five. That's nice and crisp. And then we'll put down 100 there. And let's take that old hundred. This is nice. Cool. So that's 115 into home. Great. Okay. Um, health has 90. So we're gonna grab some 20s. So we're going to take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So we'll keep 110 and then grab a bunch of 20s. Again, I don't have another 50. I wish I had 50s, guys. Duly noted, next time I go for a bank run, for a condensing, i got to grab some 50s too. Um, we're going to grab some 20s. Let's see, are there any good ones? 20, 40, 60, and that's a nice one, 80. So this should be 90. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So health. I thought I was going to grab another 50 in the back here somewhere, but maybe not. Um, Dad and Brian are both condensed. So what do we have here? Oh, we've got a 50. Um, so we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yes, that's where I, I knew I was grabbing a 50 from somewhere. So we're going to put 100 into Michael. And that's going to condense him for Christmas. And then Alyssa can probably be condensed down. So she has... 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we can do, we'll keep the five and do some 20s. Okay. 
to your 20s. These look fairly decent. Okay, so 45 into Alyssa for Christmas. Perfect. And then let's just jump back to baby and I'm gonna put the 50 in there. So the 220s and the 10 can go down and we will start baby off strong with a solid 50. And that is gonna be everything. Oh my gosh, wow, what a difference, guys. <laughs> That's huge. I can finally close that, amazing. I'm gonna quickly take a peek at my rollover binder, but I genuinely don't think this has anywhere to go. Um, well, okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm gonna take out these ones and put them off to the side. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So let's keep the nice five, but then I'm gonna grab a 20. And this is rollover gas money. So $25. Spending's got nothing, beauty's got nothing, eating out, household. These all are empty. Yeah, so the only other thing I have in here is my miscellaneous which has a whole bunch of $2 bills, which you get as a freebie when you order from Intentional Living's uh, Etsy shop, which is so nice of her to give you actual money. And it's just cool to collect these $2 bills. So I'm not gonna condense those, but there are a couple ones in miscellaneous that I'm also gonna pull out. So I'm gonna take those out and put them off to the side. And these twos back in. Okay. And those are good there. So that's that for that binder. Really would like to see some more rollover happening in May, but we will see how well I do with my spending. So I'm going to go back in here actually and go back to debt snowball and let's start off strong for May. And we're going to add these remaining ones that I had from rollover from um, the last month of April. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars going into debt snowball to start us off for May. And that is truly going to be everything for this video and for the month of April. I hope you guys are enjoying your spring so far. There's going to be some gorgeous weather this weekend, which I'm so, so excited about. Let's take a quick peek at what all this cash looks like all clumped together. Because if that's not satisfying, I don't know what is. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god. What am I even... Oh. So the people at the bank are going to think I'm crazy, but this is everything that's going back to the bank um, for today. So this should be close to almost $1,000 between the $500 that I um, took out to do the condensing and then the um, 400 and something dollars from the uh, cash and stuffing. So yeah, that's close to a grand right there, guys in the palm of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing with it because that's irresponsible and I have to go to bed, but I will see you guys for the first video in May, which will be my May uh, week one cash stuffing. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me and I will see you guys next month. Have a good one.